Hi friends, I'm Rebecca. Welcome to Squintillions. Today I'm going to show how to close a covered call using the TD Ameritrade website, which is different than their Thinkorswim platform. In a previous video, I showed how to write a covered call using the example of Intel, and I'm now gonna show how to close that call. Intel had their earnings report and the share price has dropped based on their outlook. So I'm gonna take advantage of that to buy back the call at a lower price. I like to buy back my calls for about 10% of the premium price that I got paid for the call. And that's where we're at right now. So I'm going to go ahead and close the call. We're looking at my options here on the TD Ameritrade website. I'm going to look at the INTC May 20th, $55 strike price call. And if I just hover over that call with my mouse, a little box comes up here and then you can click on buy. This brings up the snap ticket at the bottom of the screen. So we're gonna go through and make sure everything is what we want it to be. The action when you're closing a call is buy to close. It's one contract. It's the Intel May 20th call at $55 strike price. I'm gonna use a limit order. And right now it shows the bid price at 0.03, which means people who wanna close the call want to close it for $3. And ask price is at 0.04, which means that the sellers are asking for $4 for that call. I would prefer 0 0.03. That's what I'm gonna type in as my limit order here in the price box. And I do good until canceled. And I change the date to be the date that the call would expire. We're going to now review the order, clicking on review, read through one more time that everything is as you want it to be. Buy to close one contract of Intel for May 20th, 2022, $55 strike price, Limit is at 0 0.03, which means it will cost you $3 to close the call. There's no commission fee, but there'll be a one cent transaction fee. I'm going to just place my order now, and then it comes up on my orders screen. And then I wait for that to go through. I received confirmation on Monday morning, May 2nd, that my Intel covered call in my TD Ameritrade account was bought back at a price of $3 for the contract. Now I'm gonna show you how I keep track of my covered calls in my spreadsheet. I'm currently in the 2022 closed calls in my TD Ameritrade IRA. I group my covered calls by the month that they close in. And the reason for that is for taxes, when you're paying your taxes, you are taxed on the profit that is made when the contract is closed. Okay, so I have the name of the company here. I have the symbol. Then the buy price is what I paid for the stock when I first purchased it. The current price is the price the stock was at when I first decided to write the call. The stock price at call open was the actual price the call hit when the call was sold. Now, closing price for this trade was $43.93. That's where the stock was when the call was bought back. I also like to keep track of the 52-week low and the 52-week high. This call was one contract of 100 shares. It's almost always for me one contract at 100 shares, though sometimes I might sell two contracts with 200 shares. <laughs> The value of the shares in the contract is basically the buy price of the stock times 100. The strike price for this call was $55 with an expiration of May 20th, but we didn't get there because I bought back the call. The amount of money I received for selling the call was $42 minus the 66 cent commission and fees. When I sold the call, I received $41.34. I'm exiting this call by buying it back and that was at 0 0.03 or three dollars total for the price of the contract and then there's a small fee of one cent on top of that and then you get the calculation of exactly what you made on this call minus um, all the fees and how much you paid to buy it back i made 38 dollars and 33 cents on this covered call 
That's a profit of 0.81%, which is exactly in the range that I like to have for my premiums when I'm selling a call. And my preferred range is between 0.5% and 2%. Anything over 2% usually means I have a higher risk of the call being assigned. I don't look too much at the plus and minus 52 weeks versus the strike price. The per share upside is if the call had been assigned at $55, how much profit I would have made per share versus what I paid for the stock. And that was $7.80 per share or the total contract, the upside appreciation would be $780. ITM probability is the chance that the call would be in the money on the expiration date as of the time that I wrote the call, which was on March 22nd. And that was 15% for this call. I closed the call before it expired and it closed on May 2nd, 2022. And I like to make a note of what's going on with this call and I closed to take profit. Another option I would possibly put in this is that the call was assigned or that I rolled it up or rolled it up and out. Sometimes I also close it to avoid the risk of it getting assigned. So I'll note that because it usually means I paid more than I wanted to to close the call, but I want to differentiate that from just closing it to take the profit. And that's all I keep track of with my covered calls. If you found this video helpful in learning how to close a covered call, please give the video a like and remember to subscribe for more information on personal finance and personal growth here on Squintillions.